Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Long Pamai and in this short video, we'll learn how to use a combo box and a drop down control. First, we'll try a simple static scenario and then we'll also learn how to make it dynamic. As always, project files and source code will be made free for download and for use. The only request from you is to support my channel so I can keep sharing all these useful videos. So if you haven't, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. Let me create a new workbook, uh, control N. And then I'll save as, uh, we'll add some micro as well, so combo box and drop down. Okay, so I'm going to close this. I'm going to select this and open. Now let's insert um, the part and let's install a custom tab, okay? Let's call this name as drop down for now like this. I'm gonna close this. So there's drop down. I'm gonna replace that now, okay? So reopening the file. Now let's take a quick look at this combo box. This is a sample which is there, okay. Now I'm gonna come back here instead of that. Um, I'm gonna insert this combo box item, I'm gonna validate this so it's looking good. So, some of the other items that we can, you know, like um, all these are, you know, like some of the things that you can utilize on runtime, okay, like assigning the image. So, for example, here um, instead of hard coding it, you can. Uh, let your you know like program get the image for yourself so we're gonna take care of all this in some time um, let's try so I think this also should work Okay, so this is, let's say that there's, we want to add this image for now. Or we can just use the image browser to get maybe something which will be more relevant. Uh, let's use this for now. Okay, so going back to our editor instead of this, let's put this. Okay, so save and close. I'm gonna reopen the file. So here is our combo box with the you know, like image that we have assigned. Okay, now now let's try the next one these two uh you know like uh, controls are very similar so uh, if you learn one of them then you can just replicate it the rest now i'm gonna reopen the file now i'm gonna insert this drop down now there will be an error with the id we need to assign a unique id so i'm just gonna make it unique by putting an x so here item and then the ID is this, label is this, and then the image is this. Okay, so similarly for the drop down. This for combo box, this for drop down. The only one different thing about these two controls is here you can only add the item, but here you can add the button as well. Okay. So let's give it a try. Again this one uh, we can assign the same image just for demonstration and then the button maybe we'll assign a different icon for button um, maybe something like this 3d surface okay so control s control w to close um, reopen the file
okay so it works perfectly fine okay now I'll quickly show you how to make it dynamic as well reopening the file just replicate this block okay the ID has to be unique so I'm just gonna add one there let's call this one as so the label here we'll call this dynamic drop down okay the same applies for uh, combo as well so you can try that out yourself now instead of adding these you know like uh, items which are static I'm gonna get rid of this okay and now when you're adding more properties like this you can have this in a uh, new line just remember that you know like the this block which opens and ends has to be you know like properly handled otherwise it's gonna give you error now going back here some of the important thing is um, so the label is already there which is this now if you want to assign a size as well like for the label size string I think yep so you can also assign it like this again in all this you know like uh, document when you look at this you'll see a sample like this but then uh, this basically is just it means that you can use this uh, property in this control as well okay so for example let's say that I take this and put it here like this so it's my bad when you're following this approach you have to add it in this fashion okay like this so I'll just leave this for now here down like this and uh, this again this is basically for the size you know like uh, for example if I open this you can see the size of this is you know like um, this much right so you can make this you know like uh, do it bigger as well using that size string okay now let's assign some more property um, I think the super tip we already tried the super tip but uh, we can assign a hard-coded value as well as we can even use um, we can make it dynamic as well yeah so let's say this is dynamic drop down now let's uh, try to make the you know like item dynamic so for that we'll need to use get item get item count so for example this is example for gallery but we can use this same method here as well the property so get item count let's call this as a get uh, this will be the name of the code okay get drop down item count and then um, there will be additional property that will be automatically generated and then the item label as well we can also assign item label uh, or we can just call this drop down item level and then when the item is selected that will be on action like this we've tried this already in our prior video drop down click something like that okay I think that should be it for now so again ID label uh, the size the width of this particular you know like label and then the super tip this will show us when you place your cursor on top of something for example when you place your cursor here you can see click here for more help so that is super tip and the item count the label all this will be dynamically assigned from the micro okay so let's get this uh, you know like the callback I'm gonna save this and close it now let's reload the file now it's going to give us error so you can see here the size of this is dynamically assigned okay we can also put this in different blocks um, let's 
let's go to this workbook and assign a new module and add this okay so let's say that uh, we'll take one example let's say we have a list here called um, apple mango and banana for example like this okay so let's say we want to add this here in the drop down okay so now the item count can be dynamically assigned so here the return value is going to be three three is the count right and then for the index here we can say that uh, so here we need to take care of the return value so the return value is basically gonna assign uh, the item labels okay so for example this will be picked from this cells so for this example we'll just say cells and then this will be the index so here we're already assigning like for example like a total loop and here we're gonna get an item okay dot value let's call this type wise there now uh, when the item is click we can say message box and then we can say something like that okay let's give it a try uh, we might have to update it a little bit or we can even select instead of this okay so we'll have to reopen the file okay so the in the problem here is the index starts from zero so let's make it plus one okay so here is the dynamically assigned items okay even here we'll have to make the changes the index this index is starting from uh, zero so we'll have to increment one so that we can uh, activate the object in the worksheet banana like this okay um, maybe we can try and add um, dynamic image as well get image uh, so we'll write the same set of code the order does not matter here okay so you can replicate this for combo box as well now I'm gonna save this get the call back and then reopen the file this is just for the image so I'm gonna get rid of the rest of the callback here uh, based on the item you can also again um, control the image but for now we'll just set this as for example the control that we used let's assign this okay so here I'm gonna assign the image Oops. Oh, it assigned the uh, I, you know, like the image for the label and not for the item. So we're gonna go here again. Get, we should be using this instead of that. So let me quickly change that. Okay, so the difference here is one is get image and one is get item image I'm gonna save and close this let's open the file
for the item let's assign this and then for the label let's assign something else Let's grab a quick uh, image ID. Maybe something like this. Okay. Now let's save and close and reopen it. Okay. So going to the drop down. Here you can see the icon, uh, the image have changed. And then dynamic. Uh, drop down that's the hard coded label and then you can see the item has now the image assigned to it okay okay guys that's all I have for you in this video again you can easily replicate this uh, combo box in the same way we did it for drop down we're gonna learn more uh, controls and then um, if you have any questions please comment on the video below we'll discuss more um, on you know like the topics we have already covered as well that's okay all the blue ones here has been covered basically so we just covered the drop down and then the combo box as well and then we'll learn how to read and write to these controls for example like the text box which is edit box basically it's not same as the way you work with the controls in user form and also i'll i'll let you know how to use these controls and read and write to this you know like uh, controls we'll learn how to use iRiven ui and then also teach you how to use the custom image in your control okay if you found the video informative do not forget to leave a like and subscribe for upcoming videos thank you so much for watching have a great day Bye bye